A troubling time in the Cedar Springs School District. Within the past few weeks, two young students have died. The most recent passing, Cora Gonzalez, an 11 year old. She was a fifth grader at Cedar View Elementary. And that's where we find 24 Hour News Ace Catherine Ducharme lied this morning with more on what the school's been able to do to help these students deal with the loss of their classmates and friends. Casey, good morning, and counselors have been on hand all week long for staff and students here and will continue to be available again for them today. Now, I talked with the superintendent on the phone yesterday who says it's been a very hard week for the schools. Cora passed away earlier this week, making it the second student death in a month at Cedar View Elementary School. Emma Orr, a fourth grader, died earlier this month after fighting cancer for years. There are also three other students, part of the Cedar Springs community in the hospital, recovering from a crash or fighting cancer. I can tell you it's, uh, I'll try to stay composed here. Um, staff were grieving, students were grieving, um, the principal is grieving. It's just been, it's been real, real rough. Over 175 students total have seen counselors this week throughout the Cedar Springs schools. The superintendent says that this is all possible because of their crisis team. It's made up of 10 people, including a social worker, psychologist, school, and mental health counselors. Now, the team was put together during the 2015-2016 school year when three Cedar Springs students committed suicide. It's been what has carried us through um, these situations is this crisis team and the love and support of all of our staff and uh, families and, and friends um, and students who are, I, I got hugs yesterday. I mean, kids were coming up and hugging me um, because we were all just deeply saddened. Um, you know, it, it, it was quite a day, but, but it was managed so well that, that we were able to get through that. Cedar Springs schools also brought in extra help from local ministries. They also say counseling will be available for as long as it's needed. Reporting live in Cedar Springs, Catherine Ducharme, 24-Hour News 8.